funny guy. I've seen him a few times. Let's hear it for Frankie D. <laughs> Not the 17 other people actually answered. How are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> All right. Anybody actually celebrating anything tonight? I don't think I've heard that. Yeah, birthday. Birthday. Birthday? Birthday. 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 Oh. <laughs> you can admit it. It's okay. We're with, you know, friends. <laughs> right? She can admit her age, right? Yeah. 17. 17? <laughs> One more year, sorry, babe. <laughs> anyway, nothing else. Anniversary, wedding, divorce, penis enlargement. <laughs> Actually, if you're celebrating penis enlargement, you'd probably be at Motel 6, not here. <laughs> I know I would be. But it happened to me. So, anyway, nice, lovely, rainy day. Uh, I introduced myself, I'm Frankie D. I grew up in this area, actually, not too far from here. I don't really like to admit that that much because now the area kind of sucks. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not great either. Now, after my divorce, I moved in with my parents. <laughs> that was them over there. <laughs> Just to admit that. In a, retire in a retirement community. <laughs> Guarantee you, the poon is lining up. <laughs> it's lining up. The other day I went up to a woman and she was drinking her cocktails in the bar and I was like, hey, so what kind of underwear you got under that dress? She goes, well, it depends. <laughs> Driving here, um, there's a little girl, young, have a little girl, that was some kind of weird driving. There was a younger teenage girl, she was texting while she was driving, so I stopped behind her. Anybody had that problem before? Pretty sure everybody has, but no one's going to admit it, so that's fine, because we have very lively crowd tonight. <laughs> I gave it the most responsible adult would have ever done in, life, any, in this situation. I rode up beside her <laughs> in my Mitsubishi Mirage, which is like this big. <laughs> I bought a small car because I didn't look like I was compensating for something. <laughs> so, anyway. So I pull up beside her, sorry, and I rolled down my window, I threw a beer in it. <laughs> I was pissed. <laughs> Living with my parents in retirement time, it's actually, it's really not that, I mean, other than a huge hit to the self-esteem, it's actually really not that bad. I mean, I get two-ish meals a day. <laughs> my mom's like, here's breakfast, and he has me a Pop-Tart. You might even need my kettle. <laughs> I'm dating again, which absolutely sucks because one, I'm really not really a good looking guy. No. Thank you. <laughs> so, so, anyway, I joined dating site, I joined OK Cupid. <laughs> Obviously, you've been on this before. <laughs> Are you on it now? Yeah, I'm not going to discuss no, it. Have we swiped away on each other? <laughs> you want to have to tell remember? Are you, uh, are, you, are you guys? No. Oh, no. We're going to be talking about it. I'm just saying, I don't know. I know you got to think for priests. So, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Shame. Oh. I'll give you my screening later. <laughs> Uh, real quick question here, real quick. Does anybody here have a pen? No. no. Nobody? No. Shit, I can't use my magic trick. But so don't work. Yeah. Yes, I do. You, yeah. you just said no. Oh, there you go. There you go. Here's the pen, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, who here likes magic? I'm going to do something new. I've never done this before. Don't All right. Who likes magic? Oh, Alright, so we have a piece of paper out. Hold on. When you're in your 40s, this takes a while. <laughs> Alright. So, I need a volunteer. Michelle! You know what? I'm going with you. Alright? You're, you're going to have to come up here. It's 2016. Apparently, the cordless mic hasn't been invented in uh, Northeast yet. 
Do you understand? Write your phone number on that paper and fold it and fold it in half. <laughs> or use my back because there's no tables here. <laughs> and make sure it's your real phone number. I'm not calling your grandmother. Okay. You got it? Give me the number. I'm gonna fold it up and put it in my pocket. I'll call you after the show. <laughs> So anyway, I'm really not giving this back. Um, I'm not desperate. So anyway, back to OK Cupid. The thing I understand is, wait, before I do this, is there any Muslims in the crowd? Why did the whitest person here clap their hands? I was afraid to swipe left on this bitch because I was afraid my phone was going to blow up. Anyway. Okay, Cupid's kind of fun, but you know what? We have to set a couple rules for the ladies here. Think about this. <laughs> All right? One of them is, we're going to up here. That's not a rule yet? All right. So, one thing is, I understand you like to take pictures of groups. You know, you and your friends, you're all together, and it's great. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Take a picture by yourself. I don't know if you're the dude on the left or the woman with three legs and the hump on the right. I have no idea. Clean the room that you are taking a picture in. I do not want to see your skinny undies in the background. There's no right sweat for that. Take a picture with your mother. I want to know what my future holds. I gotta know. The other thing too, this is like an epidemic going around. Stop duck facing. For the love of God. This you were laughing way too fucking hard at this. There's nothing attractive about that. If your idea was to make your mouth look like a cat's asshole, you should you have it. You have it. Perfectly. Speaking. I know this one, hold on. <laughs> Speaking of Planet Fitness, you were absolutely right. They do have a pizza night there. I don't, it's like pizza night Monday or some shit. I don't understand that. I was like, come to AA, it's mini bar Monday. Come on. <laughs> Makes no fucking sense whatsoever. I actually just went there, so when I drop my keys, there's a keychain shows and the girl's like, hey, so you good, Jim? <laughs> Sort of. <laughs> I signed up for the t-shirt. <laughs> and guess what? It doesn't fit! <laughs> so anyway, being single is pretty fun. <laughs> I'm just glad I got a number. <laughs> Great. We're only two twelve. <laughs> We're down and there's two. <laughs> People are brutal. You know, a girl whose hair looks like curly fries, you know what I mean? <laughs> Actually, these are people from work, and I'm probably going to be fired on Monday. So if anybody has a job position that's open, I will probably be available on Tuesday. <laughs> so anyway, I'm afraid to sit on this thing, because everything else fucking broke up here. <laughs> we're, we're, okay. It's pretty stable. Okay. So anyway. How's everybody doing for great? <laughs> it hasn't stopped in like two weeks. I'll tell you one thing, it's raining probably 90% of the time that I started my new job. I don't really know if that's a sign, like an omen, like a yeah. quit. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Being insurance is really quite fun. Um, I've been doing it for almost 15 years? And here's some weird shit. Have you ever gotten a letter from your insurance company that says, look, we really need you to change out your wires, you have like, um, fuck, fuses and not circuit breakers. I had a woman walk in with a bag of wires. She's like, here, I'm just showing you how to change out my wires. I'm like, I just need a fucking picture. I didn't need all that. But what am I supposed to do with them? You know, there was a trash can when you walked in here. Oh, man. I had a 
a woman called, she wanted to change out her car. She went out and she bought, I didn't even start the pump slides right there, like, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> she goes, I bought a Chevy Her. I said, what the fuck is that? I've never heard of this car before. Anyone know what a Chevy Her is? I have no idea. Does it run all like strawberry douche? I don't know. I don't even know if that comes with strawberry. I just kind of threw it out there. So I told her, I said, can you spell it for me? And I went, oh, so you mean the Chevy HHR? You actually spell those letters? You say those letters? Yeah, I don't know how to fucking say this. Someone help me out. You actually have to say these letters. It's not a word. Don't even worry about it. I've been short of how the P lot, which is a pilot for people that actually know how to speak. The Chevy Aluminum, which apparently is not made by Reynolds. All the ones that's not. But I will tell you one thing, you know, living with my parents really isn't that bad, because you know what? I get to tell my brother and sister, I visit your mother every single day. <laughs> every single day. Hey, mom, how you doing? And she asks me, how was your day? <laughs> you can applaud that when it's great. <laughs> I'm working on it. That's why I got the number. So we're having like a luau day at work, which I'm glad I'm not attending because last luau day I was out, I wore a grass skirt and I forgot that you're supposed to wear something underneath of it. And I work with a lot of women. Grass will be high that day. <laughs> Definitely getting fired. So they asked what we could bring in because they want everybody to cook their own dinner. So there's some people are like, oh, I'm going to bring like pineapple upside down cake. I put top around it. <laughs> Some good shit. If you get the beef on you check off some knockoffs, it's like the Wolfgang Puck of ramen noodles. It's great. <laughs> really? That was, how old are you? Let's go back to the birthday thing. Yeah. Is it, your, is it really your birthday or is your friend just pointing you out because she just wants to single you out? No, it's everything. I could ask your number too. I mean, that's fine. I'm pretty sure she won't get jealous. She's probably like, for the love of God, get into a car crash and lose my number. <laughs> so how old are you? 39. It ain't 35 in two months. It's pretty close. We can talk later after the show. So. <laughs> Basically, I have a cat too. And when I was single, I was living by myself with a cat. And I woke up one morning, I took a picture of this man, I got a cat on my face. And everybody's like, it's everybody's dream, they won't push you on your face, right? I'm like, yeah, it is. I don't want it looking me back. <laughs> There's a problem with that. But when you're single, you're scared of spiders, and you don't jump on chairs because of spiders because you're afraid of heights, which is why I haven't sat down yet. And all you need is top ramen and pop tarts. You realize that you really need to start broadening your horizons when it comes to cooking. So I opened up my cans. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I opened up my cat can of wet food, there we go, and you open it up and you kind of look at the beef and the gravy and you're like, hmm, that shit doesn't look that bad. I just spread that on a Ritz cracker. And it's actually not that bad. It's pretty delicious actually. Me and my cat ate it by candlelight. With Celine Dion playing in the background. <laughs> Tell you one thing. Uh, when I bought my car, they asked me, said, did you bring a down payment? I said, yeah, it's that piece of shit Ford Focus sitting right there. I'm like, well, what's special about it? I said, it's actually great for people trying to watch their weight. Because the window crank broke off. Yes, I didn't have electric windows in that car. No automatic windows, no automatic glass. I said, so go through the drive through it's fucking impossible. Because I'm lazy, my ass ain't getting out of the car for my burger. Not happening. That's why I always take somebody with me. <laughs> Run in and grab that burger for me. There you go. So, I gotta admit, I love being up here. I love making people laugh. And if I could ever quit my job and do this forever, I would definitely do it. 
And the only thing I can say is I gotta thank my family and friends for coming out here. And I'm gonna end with one more joke before I say all this. You guys are the reason why we are here. All right, without you guys supporting live comedy, this would never happen. And my final joke is, what did the cannibal do after he dumped his girlfriend? What? Uh, Wipe his ass. <laughs> <laughs> An Asian woman walks into a bank. She takes her money, which I think is yen. We'll go with that. She hands it to the teller. The teller goes, okay, it's worth $300. Gives her $300. She walks in the next week. Same amount of yen. Goes up to the teller. The teller hands her $200. And she goes, excuse me, teller, what's going on here? He goes, well, it's, it's fluctuations. He goes, well, fuck you Americans. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Have a good night. Well, that went out before. I guess you were all the other. Uh, <laughs>